Okay, let's say you want to quickly um, edit your photographs in Photoshop and you want to add more contrast or you want to add more tonal range to your um, photograph or your image. Well, there's a bunch of different ways you can do that. And I'm going to focus on levels as a preferred way. But I'll talk about a bunch of different methods in which you can do it. Definitely the easiest method is just to go to Image, Auto Tone. If you do that, you do an auto tone adjustment and uh, it improves the tonal range of your image. All right, I'm going to edit Undo. Undo Auto Tone. All right. The next thing you could do is you could just do an adjustment of levels. So you could go to Image, right? Adjustments levels or control L on your keyboard. It'll open up the levels dialog box and in the levels dialog box you can adjust the range from black to white in your image. You're gonna see a graph and the graph will tell you your uh, visual representation of all of the pixels in your image and where they line up in a range from black to middle gray to white and you can see in this in this um, graph, we've got no, um, the, the curve here does not go all the way over to black. So if I want the pixels in my image, and, and this is the graph, the curve is my, um, R is a representation of my pixels. I'll just pull this slider over here, and as I do that, I start to get black in my image, right? And you don't want to go too far, you just probably want to go normally. Um, most of the time I just pull the slider over to where I see the curve starting and now in my image I will have some solid black, some pure black in the darkest areas of the image so just a few pixels will be um, all the way black and then over here if I want pure white I can slide this slider over to where this curve starts and now the whitest areas of my image actually go all the way to pure white now that's going to improve the contrast of my image all right so um, the more I push these in the more white I'm gonna get right now look at the sky is all of these pixels here to the right of this white handlebar are now pure white if I pull this slider over here all of these pixels right the ones here are now pure black and you can see definitely in my image I've got a lot of pure black and I've got a lot of pure white and it's pretty much ruined the image because I've lost all the great values of gray. I can no longer see all of the needles in the trees, you know, and all, all the gray needles, right? And I, I can't see the clouds anymore. So if I pull that out, I can, I'll can i be able to see the clouds and, and the difference between the clouds and the sky. So this is how you would do a quick adjustment using levels. Now you can do it using um, the channel RGB, or you can actually adjust it channel by channel and adjust each channel. The preferred method would be to adjust each channel separately. So you can see here on the RGB, that is the adjustment right there. Let's try doing it channel by channel. We'll go to the red channel and adjust that. And you can see what does that do to your image. And then you can go to the green channel and adjust that. Right? and then go to the blue channel and adjust that. So now you've actually adjusted all three channels separately and then if you want to preview your image on and off you can see this is what it looked like before this is what it looks like after right and I'm gonna go all the way back to RGB and you can see here that I've got some missing um, gray values when you start seeing these lines there uh, missing aspects or missing tones in the value range of uh, white to black. White um, being 255 and black being zero. But at the end you click OK and you've done a levels adjustment. OK, I'm going to edit undo that adjustment. Edit undo levels. So I just changed and got rid of that levels adjustment. And I'm going to show you a different way of adjusting the tonal range of your image. So far we've looked at image auto tone and auto contrast and auto color and then we've looked at image adjustments levels this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an adjustment layer and we can do that by going let's see here layer new adjustment layer levels 
or over here clicking on the this symbol right here and then going to levels and that's going to add an adjustment layer and the adjustment layer is a um, basically almost like a filter layer above your image and then you can see the levels dialog box is in a little dialog box here and then you can right here do the same exact thing that you did before so I can go to red and I can pull in that and adjust my red channel and then I can go to green and adjust that channel and I can adjust all of the channels separately in my image and once I've done that with all the channels I get a pretty nice value boost and contrast more contrast in my image in the end I can go back over here to RGB and see how the total adjustment looked and if I like it I can just close this and now if I want to bring it back up just I can just double click here it pops back up and then I can close it and it's an adjustment layer which the benefit to that is now I've done a levels adjustment to my image but it's in this adjustment layer so I can always decide later hey I want to double click here and change this I want to adjust it I want more middle grays in the dark range or I want more middle grays in the light range I can change my middle grays right I can edit the image as much as I want and go back or I could just turn this eyeball off and go back to my original image or I could just delete this layer altogether the adjustment layer and um, and start from scratch so it's kind of a um, it is a method of changing your image which leaves a lot more flexibility in how you could deal with it later so that's three ways just do an image adjustments levels or do an image autotone or or do an adjustment layer and remember if I go right here back background layer image auto image adjustment levels and layer new adjustment layer levels all issues or all methods basically result in changing the levels and adding contrast to your image okay let's do it with my other image up here this is taken in a uh, small uh, two-seater aircraft actually it's a four-seater aircraft but um, uh, actually really just for best flown with just two seats so I'm going to first of all crop my image a little bit I want to crop this area out so I'm just gonna crop in a little bit here let's say I'll hit enter and crop okay using the crop tool and now I want to adjust the tonal range here but I want to do it in the most non-destructive way so I'm going to go an adjustment layer levels and I'm going to do it channel by channel I'll take that in I'm going to go to the green channel I'll take that in and then I'm going to go to the blue channel take that in all right close that over and you can see there there's a nice um, levels adjustment if I decide later I want to go back into it I can just go in and I can play with it some more later if I want 